Welcome to Schools Challenge TV, making shooting even more fashionable by putting guns into the hands of children. It's a big year for the Schools Challenge. There's a full programme of events. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of kids to introduce to shooting. And there is even an elite of shooters who started out their careers with the Schools Challenge over the last couple of years and who are now shooting competitively. Yeah, Sporting Shooter actually nominated them as the most successful academy in the shooting world. And in a way, it has been. If you look at them, there's been there's 12 in the academy in 2013 and they came in pretty much blind they were the first TSC Academy to come in um, we've had some phenomenal successes um, within not just in the schools challenge well within the CPSA there was um, three of the uh, Academy that went up to the Midland Game Fair and they pretty much took all of the youngsters um, comp youngsters competitions by storm um, and they, they started to organize outside the Schools Challenge world um, to go to the show s s competitions, CPSA competitions. We've had one, James Lewis, which is the uh, top in the academy. He won the Winter Series, but he's also got into the county team this year. Um, he's got into his school team. Um, and it's, it's got, um, it's had a bit of real good following and they've actually really worked hard to achieve something within that year, which is basically what the Academy was set up to do. And they all help each other. The two girls that we have, Isabel and Jess, uh, they've nicely, all the way through the year, they've improved on their scores. They've improved. If you look at their CPSA averages, they've all gone up. Um, both of them have now got an interest in shooting trap, um, started shooting on the down the line, and they've gone into, now thinking about going into either double trap or Olympic trap. Um, so it's, it's got them all a space within shooting to where to go. Um, the other thing one of the parents said to us at the, at the academy dinner a few weeks ago, um, I can't believe within a year you've changed my um, son into something that he's only 15 years old and talking to him now is like talking to a 22, 20, 23 year old professional, not just athlete but professional kind of sports or business person and it's it's encouraged them to come out of themselves. David has been running the Schools Challenge since it started in 2004. It is going to be the biggest Young Shots initiative in the UK teaching shooting skills to the next generation. Whether you're new to shooting, looking to compete in your first competition or a seasoned pro with many competitions under your belt you'll find a great atmosphere and a challenge at the Schools Challenge. From have-a-go sessions or one-to-one -one instruction to Young Shots day courses and competitions Competitions throughout the year. There's something for everyone. Oh. The Schools Challenge Oxford is the first major competition of the Schools Challenge year. Originally designed to encourage schools to add shotgun shooting to school sports, its success stems from all the extra activities at the event, which include the Browning Rabbit Mania, Stratston 4x4 off-roading, pool shoot and much more. The Oxford Schools Challenge is kind of, that's where it all started. That's the main, the big schools challenge of the year. Even though now it's, it's got down, I mean, the, it's, a, it's more of a series of events. The season starts in March, goes all the way to December. The Oxford is always kind of the big prestige one because that's where it started. The day is supported by many different sponsors, which means there are great prizes up for grabs for individuals and teams. The Schools Challenge 2014 prize fund is £40,000 and still growing. 
Next event, which takes place on the first May Bank holiday, is the Breeden Festival of Shooting, held in the grounds of Breeden School in Gloucestershire. Added to the programme in 2008 to encourage youngsters to come and shoot as individuals, this event has become so big that it's now held over two days, with a Schools Challenge competition one day and an open shoot with Schools Challenge categories on the other. There is plenty to see and do, including stands from some of the country's biggest gun companies. It's now a three-day event. You've got the practice on the Saturday, you've got the Schools Challenge, and then you've got the Festival of Shooting. And we have families come down there and spend the weekend down there. It's not a game fair. It's not made to meant to be to take on things like the CLA or the Midland Game Fair. It's meant to be what it says on the tin, Breeden Festival of Shooting. It's a weekend where you can come and you can give shooting a go. Whether you're a complete novice or whether you're an out and out expert, there is something there for everyone. And you can come and give shooting a go or you can come and try and win yourself a gun. That is what the Breed and Festival of Shooting Weekend is all about, to get new people into the sport. As well as school kids, the Schools Challenge caters for college and university students with a university championship. Called the University Challenge, it started in 2010 to bring together people in higher education to shoot against each other in a light-hearted competition. Last year's winner was Harper Adams with the Royal Agricultural College Sarancester close behind. Other colleges that sent in teams include Cambridge University, Aberystwyth and Plymouth. This year's got a new format involved in that. The format is it's basically it's based on 100 bird sporting. Um, it's 75 bird sporting and 25 bird compact. Um, it will also have the Browning Rabbit Mania there. Uh, as a bit of a fried sunlight, but we've tried to sort of incorporate the university students like to shoot more, so we've tried to give them more opportunity to get more cartridges down the gun um, and enjoy it more. They like it more of a fun thing. For the remainder of the summer, the Schools Challenge programme moves to instruction. The Novice Schools Challenge is run during the school holidays for youngsters to improve their shooting under the expert guidance of the Oxford Gun Company instructors. Tailored for groups of six, they assess each individual's level of shooting and work with them throughout the day to hone those skills. In a way, the whole Schools Challenge calendar is um, it's a bit of arse about face. Because it was an accident the way the Schools Challenge started, uh, the Novice Schools Challenge is kind of, uh, should be the first one. Um, you, where you're up here and you, you, you've got a tuition day and then you've got a little fun competition at the end of the day. Um, we had probably the best success this year at the Novice Schools Challenge. Tom Scott, um, now into the Academy for 2014, he started in the Novice Schools Challenge. Um, and in the Winter Series in 2013, he shot his first 50 straight. Now for a young lad to do that, only having shot for two months is incredible and that is what the Novice Schools Challenge is meant to be for and the way we promote it, we promote it through the academy and, and through non-shooting related press and the whole idea of the Novice is to bring outside youngsters into it to get new people into shooting. At the end of each Novice Schools Challenge day is a mini competition and the top two high scores of the day go through to a final at the end of August. There's a similar format for the Winter Schools Challenge in November and the year ends on a high with a game day in December. So what does David hope to achieve with this year's Schools Challenge events? Not everyone that shoots a Schools Challenge is going to be a Pete Wilson. It's not going to happen. Um, but. It would be nice to see some people either go to the next stage with Pete Wilson or some people that get into the shooting industry or the country industry and they get jobs and they get a good career out of what they've done with the Schools Challenge. If you are under 25 oh. and would like to get into the sport and the world of TSC, of please give Rosie or David a call on 01844 238 308. They will be very happy to chat with you about how to get into this great sport. Or visit theschoolschallenge.co.uk. Well, it's a packed programme for 2014. Next, Schools Challenge News. The Commonwealth Games organisers have boomed. They have cited the Games clay traps on military land in Angus for the Games which take place in Scotland this year. Next to ponds, Scottish law prohibits the use of lead shot over wetlands. The National Trust for Scotland has criticised the Scottish Government for its plans to lift a ban on lead shot for the Games clay pigeon shooting events. 
The schools challenge entry forms for the Oxford Breeden and the University Championships are now out. All the information on each event can also be found in the newsletter on the website. Please make sure you read the rules and regulations on the website as there are a few changes this year. For example, only Lylevel Express can be shot during the competitions. Visit the Schools Challenge website to find the forms or email rosie at theschoolschallenge.co.uk. The House of Lords has defeated the government over a new bill designed to replace ASBO's antisocial behaviour orders with a new type of measure that could affect clay shoots. If the government's bill had been passed, people would have been able to apply for an IPNA, an injunction to prevent nuisance and annoyance if they heard a shoot taking place. It would have been carte blanche for troublemaking aunties. A raft of new companies and organisations have joined the long list of TSC sponsors. They include the publisher of Sporting Shooter magazine, Archant Specialist, the publisher of Clay Shooting magazine, Blaze Publishing, Pro Shock Ear Technology, Tawanva Investments and Delta Financial Systems. We welcome these companies into the Schools Challenge Group. It's going to be a wonderful summer of country events in the UK in 2014. The CLA Game Fair is at Blenheim Palace from Friday the 18th to Sunday the 20th of July. Like mini game fairs themselves, the summer Oxford Gun Company Open Day is on Saturday the 14th of June and the second Oxford Gun Company Open Day is on Saturday the 27th of September. Please bring the whole family. And finally, clay shooters have been raising money for charity in Lincolnshire. Members of Rugby and District Clay Pigeon Club presented a cheque for £350 to Lincolnshire Air Ambulance, a donation that will fuel the helicopter for two hours, saving possibly two lives in the county. While the Schools Challenge could not happen without the work of the Oxford Gun Company, where many Schools Challenge events are held, here's Doug Florent on what's going on at the ground. Well, because of the success of 2013, we've decided to expand upon that. Um, we're building our new extension to the shop in the spring. We were hoping to get it done last year, but unfortunately we've been so busy and the weather's been pretty bad. So we're going to wait to the spring. We've put the new extension on our shop so we'll have much more clothing, much more guns in stock. Um, any leading manufacturer will be representative here. If, if we don't stock it, ask us why. It's as simple as that. Um, you're the Harrods of shooting. Oh, exactly. Yeah, terribly poor. So you're not Egyptian. <laughs> um, with the shooting grounds, we, we, uh, we're going to expand that. Um, we're going to put a down the line layout in because it's amazing how pe many people have come and asked us about trap shooting and down the line is the perfect place to start trap shooting. So we put one of those in. We're going to put a compact sporting layout in. So we have down the line compact sporting and that will alternate with the rabbit mania. Uh, the shooting school itself or the shooting grounds, we're going to expand that so that instead of having 100 sporting, we're actually going to have 200 sporting, two separate layouts. One will be for what we're going to call club members, club shooters, which will be a fairly sensible sporting layout, 100 k. Uh, for the more experienced, we will have a, a harder shoot, so you can come and shoot 50, a hundred or two hundred sporting and all we get at sensible money. For more about the Oxford Gun Company go to oxfordguncompany.co.uk Well we are back in two weeks time and if you want to subscribe on YouTube click on the link that's appeared up there or if you prefer other social media click on the link that's appeared up there or go to our website theschoolschallenge.co.uk This has been Schools Challenge TV.